Welcome. We are going to chat about why does connecting with other folks with ADHD matter? What do you think, Brittany? Why does it matter to you? Oh, I'm going to tell this story because I've told it a lot of times. Um, and everybody likes a repeat, right? Mm -hmm. So <laughs> one of the coolest things about going to the ADHD conference for the first time was seeing all of these different people with ADHD who knew it and were actively working with it and seeing them all together. And there was just not only a sense of comfort and peace, but also, um, an energy and almost like instant validation. So you're seeing somebody talk and they say something interesting to someone else. You're like, hold on, mid sentence, I'm gonna write that down. No embarrassment, no shame, but like, seriously, it doesn't matter how into this I am in 10 minutes, I will forget if it is not captured. And just seeing that in practice constantly, it was so cool, but you know what? I don't know if you knew this, there's not an ADHD conference every day. And sometimes you need that energy and that, that welcomingness and that understanding other times of the year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love that. Well, it's, it's a bit similar to any kind of group that you identify with. There is an energy, like a, a really good example for this crowd too, would be, you know, geek cons and someday I will return. Um, but just being there and being just in the, the, the hot tub of, uh, like, I don't have to, I don't have to pretend like Evangelion is not like my top fandom and that I don't know all these things about it and this whole thing about this other thing, right? Like, like the lack of pretense, the lack of pretending, the lack of masking, in fact, ironically, given that there are people wearing masks there, but you get my, my meaning. Um, it's, um. It takes less energy when you can just be yourself. And yeah. the longer you're in that space, especially when it's something like the ADHD Guild, where you can be around it a lot more, the more you feel permission to be your true self and you see other people giving themselves permission. And by extension, you, you give them and it's mutual and, and, and I mean, that is, that is my tallest order for myself. And I hope I pass it on to my clients and whoever else I come in contact with is to truly lean into and grow into who you are, because what's the alternative? <laughs> <laughs> and ADHD is an integral part of everybody's life who has it, whether they know it or not. Yeah, absolutely. Um, there's also, a, you know, a sense of being validated in the struggles yeah. and, um, uh, you know, uh, that I'm, we get that all the time. Yeah. I'm struggling with that too. Oh, I had no idea that that was part of my ADHD. Mm -hmm. It is. Oh my gosh. Or, um, yeah, we get that all the time. Um, and also like those moments where we can laugh but like we can laugh because there's nobody there judging. Yeah. Um, I'll use, I'll use another ADHD conference example, but like we get these in the guild all the time. Um, the number of so-and-so left their wallet somewhere, please come get it. <laughs> Someone has left their keys in conference room B um, over the PA. It's a lot. And, and there's just this sort of knowing chuckle of, oh, that so could have been me. Mm-hmm. And, and in no way is the person being mocked, right? <laughs> it's just the like, oh yeah, I feel that man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hard to say. Hard yeah, to say. exactly. Yeah. And um, as, as they're, as if they're like in somewhere else and they're sprinting down the hallway, there's like, you know, looks and, and knowing looks, but it's not like, you know, it's like, eh, yeah. Isn't there such a difference between, oh yeah. And ha ha. Yeah. Yep. Um, seeing the strategies other people are using, yeah, they can make huge. us more comfortable using ours. Yes. Um, just owning it. You know, yep. we recently did a decluttering series in our ADHD education hour. And one of the things was reducing paper clutter and you're at the pharmacy and just saying, no, could you take care of those papers? Cause they're going to shred them. 
Mm-hmm. If I take them home, I'm going to mean to shred them. And then they sit mm-hmm. in a pile for a thousand years and just block other things. And so mm-hmm. learning like really upfront to get comfortable with not only who I am, but what works for me so yeah. that I can say, oh no, no. Could you take those? Right. Yeah. yeah. I, I shared a huge victory in our, our ADHD brags uh, recently when I, we have one pharmacist at our pharmacy and, and my dad has had the same experience with this person who just, you always look like you're in their way. Like, why are mm. you taking up my time? And I just think it's like a natural, like something akin to RBF. <laughs> but like, I don't think this person means to give that impression, but it's like rejection it's sensitivity is painted on their face. Right. And, and I, my, my thing was, no, take those. I don't want the papers instead of just shutting up and taking this thing that will be a burden on my life. So yeah, getting more comfortable with these strategies that make our lives more successful, but not just that being around people where you can brainstorm together, like, Hey, I'm struggling with this. Who else? And yes, you get that. Yeah, I I totally am. But you also get more suggestions and more ideas. Yes. Yeah. Like, I don't know if this works for you, but it works for me. Yeah. That, that, that undercurrent of <clears throat> people in these communities more more often than not, but not exclusively, will be like, well, I don't know if it will work for you because I personally know how unique this is for me, but here's my experience. And then that lack of um, prescriptive language and energy means that brainstorming is more likely because you're not going, oh, well, I couldn't do that. It's like, oh, well, I couldn't do that but right. Yeah, absolutely. And then, um, another, another thing you just reminded me of by nature, lots of people with ADHD are helpful. We tend to want to help people. Like you see a lot of people with ADHD in helping professions in other professions too, problem solving, creative things like that. But you do see a lot in helping professions like us and And so not only are you with other people who understand you, but you're with other people who probably want to help you. Yes. And get a kick out of it. Yeah. So we are, we are simultaneously wanting to help others and not wanting to take other people's space. But then, you know, (laughs) if I have a tech issue, we have one specific guild member who I, I, I I try to be strategic about it. Like, not like, oh, this thing failed once. So I'm going to, you know, talk to so-and-so, but you know, if it really is a thing where it's like, I don't know, man, and I'm pretty sure this person does, I know that it's going to give them the dopamine and that makes Mm -hmm. it much easier to ask. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, it does feel good to help people and knowing that there's other people in that space who are there and like are, are open to it. Right. Like we don't assume that our suggestions are going to work for everybody, obviously, but like, Hey, what about this? And it's, it's like crowdsourcing, but more intimate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's crowdsourcing with, with a, uh, with a, with a filter already placed on it. That it means it's more likely to succeed. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Very good. I like it. <laughs> in our notes we made on this you used a lot of metaphors like soaking in the acceptance of other people and mm. <laughs> swimming in a welcoming like a lot of these like we're all chilling in a hot tub together <laughs> see that's how it feels people, it is. people have said that it's like it's like it's like a bath for my brain to just be here and not have to pretend so yeah yeah that, that, that really is the metaphor um and another one is it feels like home like, you know, like, you, you know, sweatpants and no bra, like that's, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, that's, that's the vibe. And, and, and that saves energy for other places where you can't be that right. Early yeah. on in my ADHD life, um, I, I started noticing that, I, you know, I started having this conversation with someone in my laboratory and it just, it just felt like I was meeting this long lost relative, mm. probably because a lot of my relatives have ADHD and don't know it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and so it, it felt like, oh, wow, we have this connection. And, and the interesting thing, like without knowing it, right? Like this person wasn't diagnosed yet. Um, they were later. And I was just like, oh, it just, it was this feeling like, oh, we've, we've talked like this before. And I don't get that with every single person with ADHD, but like, 
you do feel that sometimes where it's like, oh yeah, this, this feels at home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's wonderful. Um, and, and the, the number one thing I think that I hear when people contact me for one-on-one -on -one coaching is, um, I'm contacting you because you seem like you get it. <laughs> and that phrase, get it, is is huge because, you know, I, I've, I've been to many professionals who I'm sure are perfectly competent, but when it comes to ADHD, they have studied it, but sometimes not very much. And even if they have, it's, it's, it's a different experience because I have, as far as I have read, studies show that humans are terrible at understanding something they have not experienced. This varies. Uh, people's experience, you can experience something and still not get it. But like overwhelmingly, you are more likely to get it if you have experienced it. Therefore, ADHD in a professional would be a different experience than someone who has only studied it. So yeah. having just everybody in the thing be like, yep. Like, and there, there are some things that go without saying, like, like there, there are certain times when we, when we, when we're talking about it, but there are other times when I feel like, I don't know, it like, like, oh, sorry, I'm late. Hey, no, no worries. Like, we're not saying that that's ADHD. We just, it just is the culture. And, you know, it's like, I'm going to try better next time. That's on my you know list of goals. I'm going to work on it, whatever the case may be. So getting yeah. it so huge. It is. It's really huge. And I mean, I kind of want to end it with this. People with ADHD are fun. Like I, yep. yeah, before I knew I had ADHD, I'd say I would tell people I was pathologically incapable of being boring. Like, even if that's the right thing to do, I didn't know how. And our people yep. are a lot of fun. And the things that we're excited about, we're really excited about. Yes. And that's infectious. Yes. So if you feel like that's stopping by. What? If you feel like stopping by, we'd love to see you. Yes. What were you going to say? I was going to say, and that, that is why connecting with people with ADHD. So we would love to see you and connect with you.